What's up, Ken? This is a demo video for you for your Punk Sabres Ventress. Um, I do appreciate your patience on this. It took me around two weeks to do. Not something that usually takes me that long, um, but it's all done now, right? This is uh, installed a Golden Harvest. You did have a few parts that came with it that looked like it was from a previous install, uh, but I didn't use anything. I wanted to put brand new parts in here for you. And then also I gave you a speaker upgrade the last speaker you had in here was a 24 millimeter. Um, I was able to fit a 28 millimeter in here by just doing a few things to the inside of the handle. All right. Um, I left your blade plug in here for now just to, uh, but we do need to take it out to get the chassis out. So I didn't think about that. So I'll put it back in at the end of the demo to show you that it has some nice shine through. All right. But you've got Carl Chen PCB in there. Um, you can unscrew this guy. Although you will want this on when you put a blade in, all right? So we'll take that off for now. So you got that Carl Chen PCB in there. If she'll focus, there you go. Uh, two button setup. So front switch is your power, back switch is your auxiliary. You provided the golden harvest board which was used and it was set up for a one button config. So I just went ahead and I changed it to two button. That's about the extent of my golden harvest knowledge. <laughs> all right, so, um, but I'll show you what I did. To get to the chassis, open it up from the pummel. It's the only place that this saber opens, minus the piece of the emitter that we just took off. All right, so we'll take that off. You'll see your speaker right there. You will have to come in and push a little bit from the NeoPixel connector. So just be careful. Uh, give it a little bit of a push until you see your chassis pop out here, and then you can pull it out. And the reason I did that before we go over the chassis is because when I took this saber and I broke it completely apart, there's two places for shine through. Um, you've got this middle section here and here on both sides of the switch assembly. And then you've got this upper section. Um, it is not going to show up very well on camera. You can't hardly see it through the mesh. But what it looked like was in the black core in this section right here, there were just random holes that were drilled into the core so that this could have shine through. And what that did was uh, cause a lot of damage to the inside of the core. You can almost see that in there. Um, I went through the best I could and cleaned that up with a file to try to get it nice and smooth. All right, but it still makes the chassis stick just a hair when you get to that last little bit. So it does require a push. It's just not something you can go like that. It will fall out. So not a big deal. We've got that all straightened out. We'll put this off to the, well, yeah, before we put it off to the side, I did go in here with a Dremel wheel and um, I widened a little bit of that backside of the handle right there so that I could comfortably fit a 28 millimeter speaker in here so it, and it sounds really good. All right. So all that said, this is the chassis that I came up with. You had just asked for a golden harvest for the one that you sent and then you wanted some shine through. So what I did was um, last I read the manual on golden harvest, you could have up to eight NeoPixel accents. Um, I happen to have these eight pixel accent boards. All right. So I put an eight pixel board over here. I put an eight pixel board over here. Um, although they do match the blade for now, I made sure that they are wired in a manner to where you can program these independently however you choose to do that. Um, yeah, so a total of 16 LEDs right here or NeoPixel LEDs, but they are wired in parallel. So these, these two boards will mirror each other. So that's how we got shine through on the middle section right next to the switches. Uh, you can see I beefed up your switches a little bit. You had some small like 1.5 millimeter brass tactiles for switches before that was in your box. Um, I like to use these black ones when I can. They're just a little bit more robust. All right, so that's what we've got right there. Um, coming up here, I put these windows in here into the chassis. And then I have a single NeoPixel accent that is right underneath this connector that's pointing down this way. So it will give you shine through through these windows and it gives you shine through through those holes that were manually drilled up here. All right, so we got shine through through both play places, sorry, uh, but this one will always match your blade. All right, so we maxed out on our accent count here with the eight. This one I made sure that it will always just match your blade. All right, uh, but you have a removable battery. So spring size, your negative. I'll show you that here in a second. Of course, your golden harvest board up here. So easy access to your SD card. You can just pop it in and out from there. The board is adhesed down to the shelf to keep it in place, but 
this is the only access to the board that you'll ever need. So that's what we've got there. Uh, and then of course the 28 millimeter SO speaker that I was telling you about. So that's nice in there. Um, it says solo sabers over here for me in Arabish. If we can zoom in and then it does say Ventress over here in Arabish. Okay. And then I just put a little bit of perforated pattern on this guy, of course, to match the actual saber. All right. So we'll go ahead and we will throw a battery in this guy. Now, if I were to take this and turn it on outside of the saber, you would see all the, all the uh, shine through here. So you, you can see what that NeoPixel accent is doing up here. And of course, these two match each other. And this is lighting up exactly like it should. And you have twist off. All right. Now, when you're putting this saber or this chassis into the saber, you'll notice on the very bottom there is a groove right here. Uh, right here. That is because there's two set screws that hold this piece in, right? Uh, that hold it in, that hold it onto the core. They're directly underneath the switch section. Um, I replaced one of those with a slightly longer set screw to act like to act like something that could uh, clock your chassis for you and keep it from spinning. So that set screw that you don't see in there will right will ride right along inside that channel. So when you put this in, you need to make sure that your switches are facing your switch board. All right, or your, your uh, switch box rather. Take it nice and slow. Once you find that groove, it'll fit right in. You'll get to about right here. All right. Do not press the speaker with your finger. You don't need to do that. Use the pommel. This is the pommel. Yeah, the pommel does all the work. It'll press up against the speaker for you. And when you screw this in, it pushes the chassis forward. All right. It pushes the chassis forward as far as it needs to go and it locks everything in place. So now we can come over here and hit power. So I got you shine through as best as I could with those holes that were drilled into the saber. And you've got some pretty bright shine through right here. All right. So again, The Sabre is very loud. Uh, it'll be a lot louder than the 24 millimeter that you had. We'll go ahead and we'll put this in. We'll put a blade in. This takes a 7 8 inch NeoPixel blade. All right, so we'll lock it down real quick. And we'll call it hit power. Auxiliary down here, right? Blade lock up. Sound menu. Go to the sound menu. Guardian! Red one, so that looks really cool. You got some cool sound fonts on here. Twisting off is twisting this saber to the right. All right. Sound menu. The classic villain. Very loud. Good, good flash on class. And you'll see that in your light up portion. So 
see that in your crystal chamber. So that animation you have when the blade ignites, pay attention to right here and you'll see that as well. Right. Just like that. All right, we'll go ahead and take the blade out. Um, I'll throw your blade plug in here real quick. One, so I don't forget it, and then two, because I told you I'd show you that it had some shine through. All right. Oops. It will drop all the way down in there if you want. I gave you the maximum amount of blade depth that I could, but when you get that in there. Very nice shine through in the blade plug. All right, and then when you're done, of course, we can come over here. We can take this piece out without taking the uh, blade plug out. All right, so we'll put that off to the side. Again, come over here and unscrew your pummel. Gently come over here and give it a push until it pops out here, and you can just pull it all the way out with your hand. And then to take the battery out, come over here from the positive side by the speaker, and you should be able to pop it out with your finger, no problem. All right, so that is basically your Ventress Saber from Punk Sabers. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and if not, I uh, will try to get this out in the mail to you by tomorrow. Thanks, man.